excited about today's craft. It is something that I found a few years ago on a blog or in a magazine that I've wanted to create for so, so long, and I finally did and can't wait to show you. It is this really cute cork board. And of course, I'm going to be using it to hang all of my kids' artworks and different projects they make. Hopefully a lot of really good report cards this year. <laughs> so you can make a big one like this to go on a wall. And you can also make a small cork board like this. Just add some magnets to the back and stick it right in your locker. I'm really excited about this craft and can't wait to show you, so let's get started. So the supplies you're going to need for our cork board is of course some cork board. And I just got this from Michael's. You're going to need something round to trace to make your circles for your cork board. I just used a lid for the small one and I used a vase that I had to make these bigger ones. And whatever size that you would like will work. It doesn't matter what size you use. And then you're going to need some scissors to cut your cork board out. And you're going to need some cardboard to put on the back and I just cut that into strips. You're going to need longer strips and you're going to need shorter strips. And I made a wood frame on the back so I just use these wood sticks that I got at Michael's. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. Once you have everything glued together, this is optional, but I used spray paint just to add a little color. The one that I saw that I wanted to make was gold, and I really love how that turned out. But once I got it all put together, I really love just the plain cork board too. I thought that it looked really cute, so that is optional. And then of course, once everything is complete, you're going to need some push pins. Okay, so to start this project, we're going to trace out our circles and cut them out. I did 25 big circles so that I had a perfect square. For the smaller one, I did 24 so that it was a little bit longer so that it would fit in a locker. Once you have all of your circles cut out, we're just going to hot glue them all together. Okay, once you have everything glued together and it is dry, flip that over and I felt like it still needed a little bit more security, something else to make it a little bit more strong. And that is where our cardboard comes into play. This is amazing and works so, so well. Okay, so we're just taking our long piece of cardboard and we're going to lay it across here. And that is just going to help keep those circles together. And then we're going to take our smaller thin pieces of cardboard and we're going to lay them across this way so that we're just reinforcing that hole. And now we're going to finish making our frame with our wood sticks. We're just going to do the same thing, just lay that down, and that is going to help keep that all secure and together. Okay, we have everything glued down and everything is dry. And this is what we've got. I really love how this turned out. And like I said, you can spray paint it or leave it plain. You could also do a pink or a blue for a bedroom. I think it would really look great in any room. I'm really excited about this and have many, many things in store for it. So I hope that you were able to follow along with me and that you can recreate this at home. Please let me know if you do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.